Thanks, Leslie. Happening today, hurricane experts are gathering in New Orleans throughout much of this week for the National Hurricane Center Conference. They're going to be talking about what's happened with the previous season. We'll be talking about future things we're looking into. And joining me this morning is Jamie Rome. He's the acting director of the National Hurricane Center. Jamie, uh, always good to see you here. And I want to start off just by saying we are 59 days away from the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season. And I want to, before we get into this year, I want to go back over last year because we just had y'all released just minutes ago just in that uh, last year and going over Ian we remember that storm slammed into Florida it is uh, was upgraded to a category five before landfall but this is our first cat five uh, I believe since 2019 let's talk about last season and, and what we saw you know Ian was yet another storm that demonstrated the the, the power of these hurricanes uh, with respect to water, uh, we're seeing more and more that water is the primary means at, at which uh, people are losing their lives uh, in, in, in these hurricanes. And, and Ian was just yet another one. A 15-foot storm surge slammed into Lee County in southwest Florida, um, resulting in a large fatality count in that area. Yeah, and you know, looking at last year, 2020, 2021, 2021 seemed to be Louisiana year, you know, down here in New Orleans, it seemed like we were in the cone constantly. Last year, we weren't in the cone at all, and it was a Florida's thing. Uh, let's talk about the bigger storms that we didn't see. We saw Fiona, we saw uh, Nicole in these storms causing huge amounts of losses, not only for Florida, but we saw them all the way up to Canada last year. And just a reminder to people that you know, just because we have a quiet season here locally doesn't mean it was really quiet years for other people. Yeah, this is a great point as we move into uh, the preparedness component that you know, this is the time of year we want people to get ready. The activity in a season is really relative to what you experience in your area, not the overall activity. And that's what the seasonal forecast is, the overall activity. And a lot of people really get hung up over that and, and really use that as a is a, me a measure of whether they should prepare. But what really matters is whether you're going to be impacted in any given year. And we just don't know that this far out. Right, and we'll have those seasonal forecasts coming out over the next month or so, and we'll get one from the, the NOAA officials later on this uh, in this spring. Uh, I want to fast forward now talking about this year, and we got a release from you all recently, and we we're talking about some things we're going to see a little bit different this year, and one of those that stuck out to me was usually we do our two-day forecast and our five-day forecast. We're talking about those percentages of a storm maybe forming. This year, you all are extending it to seven-day, and as we know in the weather world, seven days is is a long time in the forecast world. So talk about the decision to go from five day outlooks to now a full week outlook. Well, there's a couple of things driving that. First and foremost, the, the predictability or our ability to predict uh, the, the genesis of what may become a hurricane has improved over the last several years. And uh, society is needing greater and greater lead times to prepare for these systems before they, they come ashore. Um, so really, we're looking at trying to give everyone better heads up uh, with respect to these systems that, that may form and, and ultimately impact land. Right, and I think the big question now from a lot of people is we're going to those seven-day outlooks. This doesn't necessarily change the cone itself, or we're still getting the five-day cones, correct? Correct. The cone itself is still five days. We continue to experiment with a potential extension of, of that um, forecast, but that remains in-house for now. Uh, as we continue to try to perfect it. Is there, I mean, y'all are experimenting. I'm curious, is there use with a seven day cone at the moment? I mean, we know how wide the five, five day cones are. Imagine when you start to get to seven, you could encompass the entire Gulf Coast with that, that error we could see. Yeah, and that's why we continue to experiment. It's more the communication of that forecast and the forecast itself, because um, as you go farther out in time, uncertainty increases and you could end up with a, a rather large cone that it impacts so much of an area that it's, it's practically impossible to react to it. All right, well, that is Jamie Rome, the acting uh, director of the National Hurricane Center. Thanks so much for joining us. As always, we talked to y'all before the season. We often talk to y'all during the season, but hoping for another quiet one, at least for Louisiana. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, Peyton.